Hey guys, Dieter Mellorn here. Hope everybody's having a good day. Hey, I'm going to do a little something different today. A little mail call segment, as I call it, in honor of Arlie Army. Um, I get stuff that's sent to me, and I welcome it. Uh, different things people will send me. Uh, some of them just a gift to say, hey, thanks for the channel. Sometimes it's tackle. Sometimes it's stuff they're making they want to try out. And uh, that's what I'm going to do today. Somebody sent me a package uh, with some stuff. It is from... Bone Town Catfishing down in Kershaw, South Carolina. And uh, they reached out to me and said they wanted to send something. I'm going to open it up, take a look at it here, see what we got. Sharper knife. Boom. All right, let's see what we got. Dang. Got every out of the way. All right, very cool. Bone Town Catfishing, Lake Waterbury, South Carolina. Drifting weights, two ounces. It's pretty cool right there. Uh, these are a little different than some ones I've seen before. Let me get a picture of these. I don't want to open them all up, but I'm going to because I want to show you all what we got. Very nice little packaging here, too. So what we got. Oh, very cool. It looks like I've got a little shrink wrappage on the end, something there in the middle. Nice, long, and slinky. Even got their logo and stuff there on the... Uh, back of it which is very cool um got a hole drilled in it right there which is nice uh these things go on drift rigs santee style drift rigs if you watch any of my videos here on the channel i uh, do a lot of fishing with drift rigs uh a santee style you could also use these probably on a kentucky rig if you were fishing that underneath the boat bumping it along the bottom they're very flexible very bendy and uh the Theory is, is that they are less likely to snag and hang up on something uh, because of their flexibility. I'm going to be honest with you. This is some of the most flexible slinky weights I've seen. I, I make them out of uh, shoelace and they do pretty good. Don't know what they got inside of them. I'm not going to cut them apart because I'm actually going to use these suckers. I like these. These are pretty cool. It looks like they've got them in different sizes. These are two ounces, some different size packages too. Uh, looks like you get some, they're all two ounces, which I think I told them two ounces is normally what I use, depending on where you're fishing, how deep you're fishing, how fast you're moving, different weights uh, will come into play uh, as far as what works. I will do some checking. Their website, I'll put it up on the screen, is bonetowncatfishing.wixsite.com. Uh, it's a big, long address. I'll put a, uh, I'll put a link together. Uh, where you can check that out, put it down in the description section below. But yeah, check these things out. This is pretty cool. Um, a lot of people are making, there's a lot of different drift weights out there. Uh, my biggest advice is uh, on picking one is uh, you may want to play around with a bunch of them to begin with uh, to see what works for you. There's uh, not a best one. There's not one that's only the one that's working. Uh, depending on how you're fishing, where you're fishing, different things you may like. So uh, what I suggest you do is, uh, you know, if you're figuring out what's going on, buy a few of a, several different ones, give them a shot, see what you like, see which works for you, see which is the best price point. I don't know what these sell for. You can check that out and see well, how much they're selling for. Uh, sometimes it's the price. Sometimes it's how well they work. Sometimes it's just uh, you like the color of them, which has a pretty cool color. Uh, Unless you're a Duke fan, it's kind of Carolina blue. Uh, so I got a feeling some people may uh, not like that. But uh, no, seriously, these are pretty cool. And uh, check them out. Give them a show. Oh, wait, wait. There's some uh, Duke blue there in the uh, actual weight part of it. So check them out. I'll put you some links below and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. And here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.